Get this curliness down. It's not going down. You know what? There. Whatever that turned into, that's what we're keeping. Hey guys, Funny Guy Timmy here. I want to do a video um, answering a question um, about voiceover um, and uh, a particular kind of microphones and whether or not you can use them. Someone had asked me, can you use a handheld dynamic microphone for uh, voiceover? And the reason that they were asking is because they had handheld mics, but they didn't really have the money to buy a um, you know a professional large diaphragm uh, studio condenser microphone. I've heard this question asked before. I've never really seen any videos on it, um, and I think I know why. I mean, those kind of microphones aren't really something that you know uh, is ever used for professional voiceover. They don't really have a full dynamic range. However, I have on occasion seen people use like a, a Shure SM57 for doing um, uh, vocals for uh, music. Uh, on particular kind of voices, um, you know, that kind of microphone could work and the Shure SM57 does have a large range. However, there's probably a lot of still post that has to be done to the microphone to make it sound more like, uh, you know, a, a Neumann or, or any kind of large diaphragm. But I was thinking if you can use on certain situations a Shure SM57 uh, for vocals, could you use uh, a Shure SM57 for um, voiceover? So today I actually went down to uh, a place called uh, Rock and Roll Rentals uh, here in Austin, Texas, and I actually talked to the guys there and I asked them, um, you know, what they thought of people doing vocals um, in studio. Um, using a uh, SM57. They they weren't really clear with an answer. They didn't really have a solid opinion. They'd never done it before, nor did they know anybody who had had, uh, but they didn't see that it was impossible. I was about to actually rent the Shure SM57 when one of them actually suggested a different microphone um, to test uh, instead. A microphone that's within the same price range, uh, as well as having similar features, but in their opinion, sounded a little bit better. And that is this bad boy right here. This is the Heil PR22. I think it's Heil. Um, maybe Heil? If it's Heil, um, I assume it's like German, Hitler-esque. Kind of thing. So I went ahead and rented one of these for a week. It cost me, I believe, six bucks to rent a hundred dollar microphone for a week. I'm gonna be returning it in a little bit. I'm gonna try to do a whole bunch of tests with um, this kind of microphone. Uh, see what kind of stuff you can do with it. Can it be used for talking head? Can it be used for this and that? Uh, and then give a full review on it. But for right now, we're just testing to see if a small uh, dynamic handheld microphone can be used for voiceover. All stats of this microphone will be down in the description as well as a link onto where you can find it if you do like this microphone for whatever reason. Now there are dynamic microphones that you can use for um, voiceover. Links to those will be in the description as well. But considering the question that was presented to me was handheld, that's what we're testing. So next I'm gonna go into my voiceover studio and I'm actually gonna test this microphone um, in my actual uh, treated space, get really close, really intimate on this microphone and see how much actual uh, EQing or post uh, I have to do on it to make it uh, sound good. So here we go. And this, this is the part where I go, and then we just, we just cut, we just cut. We're gonna cut, right? And then we just, like it'll just, and it'll be like, ha, and I'll just appear, right? That's what we're gonna do. You're killing me, come on, that's genius. Well, I go, and then we just, to the thing, cut. All right, and here I am inside my uh, recording space um, with the microphone uh, plugged up. Now, uh, to answer the question, why would you want, maybe, um, to use a handheld, uh, if this does work, uh, why would you want to use a handheld for voiceover? Um, and the reason would probably be because a dynamic mic, as you can see how close I have to get to this microphone um, in order to get any kind of good uh, signal, um, is uh, it, it doesn't have a very large um, area of pickup. Um, it's a very small, um, close microphone. So you could 
theoretically, uh, if you had if you didn't have a recording space like this, and the only thing you had was a very noisy uh, environment, they didn't have any treated walls or treated floors or ceiling, and you could hear a lot of echo on any kind of dynamic, like large diaphragm uh, mic. Um, using a dynamic microphone might help because it wouldn't pick up any of that, I suppose. So there is that. Um, however, by the way, I had to turn up the gain a lot on this microphone in order to actually get any kind of levels. It's like almost all the way, which isn't good, kind of. I mean, it's not really, uh, you know, that, uh, normally if you have to turn the gain up a lot, it's going to distort the signal, um, which I haven't tested, but we'll see in just a second. So here I am in uh, Studio One, uh, just doing uh, some voiceover. And as you can tell, uh, just looking at the um, the uh, sound wave, uh, the waves on the uh, the recorded um, file that we're recording right now. This, by the way, is the best commentary on the planet. Uh, it's very, very faint. And that, by the way, that's with the thing turned up all the way. Like I can get closer to it. Uh, I can get closer to the mic, but it doesn't change it all that much. Um, the signal is boosted as 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 high up as I can probably go. I mean, I could probably turn it up higher. It's going to distort it really bad. Let's let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and cut this. All right, and I've turned it up a little bit more. I don't know how much more I can set this. That's basically as far as it can go. All right, now we're going to listen to it. Okay. Uh, wow, that really didn't change a whole lot either. Um. In my headphones, I can hear a lot of noise. I can hear a lot of static. So um, that's probably not going to be great when I listen to it later. Uh, again, it's going to it's going to be determined by how much cleaning and EQing I'm going to have to do afterwards um, to actually make it sound decent. So uh, yeah. All right. Now I have um, the entire audio track in uh, Audacity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna make this a monio, mono, monio, or if, like a band or something, monio. All right, um, so we're just going to listen to this real quick. So here I am in uh, Studio One, uh, just doing uh, some voiceover. And as you can tell, uh, just looking at the, um, the uh, sound wave, uh, the waves on the, uh, the corroded um, file that we're recording right now. I can hear a lot of noise in there and it's kind of sharp on the higher frequencies. So we're going to go to the one where I boosted the signal and see if it sounded, sounds any better. Here's some silence. Listen to the silence. Okay. Uh, wow, that really didn't change a whole lot either. Um, in my headphones, I can hear a lot of noise. I can hear a lot of static. Okay, that actually does sound a little bit better when you boost the volume. You guys might not be able to tell, but it does actually sound better. So, what we're going to do, okay, I'm going to go ahead and erase all of this. Let's zoom back out, erase all of this. This is how I do my um, voiceover as well. Get rid of that, just delete that, select. So, now I'm going to listen for, okay, so this right here. Okay, that is silence. That's the best sample of silence that I have on this audio. So, going to get noise profile. Going to, well, mm, no, let's go ahead and cut that out now. Okay, now I'm going to preview, because I mean, it's a new microphone, so. Okay, uh, wow, that really didn't change a whole lot either. Um, in my. Okay, that actually, that actually cleaned up the noise really well. That actually got a good sample of the noise. As you can see, there's a lot that uh, is missing. There's a lot of the... Um, the little um, hiccups in between the audio. Okay. Uh, wow, that really didn't change a whole lot either. Um, in my headphones, I can hear a lot of noise. I can hear a lot of static. So um, that's probably not going to be great. Okay, it actually sounds very similar to my Audio Technica, um, my 2020. Um, it actually does sound very, very similar to that in the fact that it's... Um, it has more focus on the higher frequencies. So we're going to go into EQing. We're going to look at this. So it, it sounds like it's it's got some um, 
some focus between here and here. Uh, so we're actually going to boost the lower frequencies just a little bit. I don't I don't want too much of the rumble just in case there's like a traffic kind of sound. And mm. boost that just a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to go over here and I'm just going to basically just dip that off almost completely. So we're going to listen to it now. Okay. Uh wow, that really didn't change a whole lot either. Um in my Okay, we're going to smoothen it off. Do, do, do. Let's go ahead and bring this up. Ooh. Put a little bit back there. Okay. Uh, wow, that really didn't change a whole lot either. Um, in my now it's a little too much of a radio sound. Get rid of some of this. Okay, dip this down. Flatten that out. Okay. Okay, uh, wow, that really didn't change a whole lot either. Um, in my... Okay. That's not bad. We're going to normalize this to three. Okay. Okay, uh, wow, that really didn't change a whole lot either. So we're going to zoom out, and we're going to go to... Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Okay. Um, in my conclusion, uh, after all the stuff that I did, um, the EQing, uh, having it in a really good environment, pop filter, all that kind of stuff, um, to make it sound like it does, it still does not compare to my um, Blue Spark um, in any way. I, I, I was trying not to, at first I wanted to do an actual, um, side by side comparison, but this isn't really a, does this compare to this? Cause they're two completely different microphones. Uh, it would have been the same if I had tried it against, you know, like a, a Rode video mic. So, um, it wouldn't have been fair. As you can tell, like as I turn my head, you can almost not hear me at all, which is the advantage of, um, a microphone like this. Uh, would I use this for voiceover? No, I wouldn't. I very much wouldn't. However, uh, I think you could, if you were just getting started and you had to have something, um, I think you could do an audition with this. If you did not pitch yourself as a professional voiceover artist, but just as an actor, and you did an audition for, for voiceover, um, and you use this mic, I think you probably could, as long as you didn't put the pop filter back in front, um, I think you could, um, you, you could actually, uh, this could probably work for you. Uh, however, it is a hundred dollar microphone. There are better sounding for voiceover, uh, better sounding microphones in the $60 price range. Meaning, if you have everything to hook up a microphone and a recording space and a pop filter, everything that it took to make this thing sound okay, just get a cheaper microphone that's actually for this kind of stuff. Um, is this a good mic? I like this mic. This is not a bad mic. Uh, you know, I I would actually do um, stand-up comedy with this mic and record a special with it. I think it has really clear, very good sound. Um would I use it uh, for voiceover on my voice? No, I wouldn't. First of all, um, like I said, it, it, it focused a lot on the higher frequencies, and I have a higher pitch voice. So this microphone wouldn't be for me. I would want something that focuses more on the lower frequencies because that's where um, my voice lacks a lot of the time. So guys, if you like this video and you like this microphone test, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Uh, links to this uh, microphone will be in the comment section as well as any of the other uh, microphones that I talked about. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll catch you later. Peace.